Hello and welcome to a chemistry series. Let's take a look at what are chemical equations. Yep. Chemical equations are used to represent chemical reactions. You probably would have done a few practical experiments in your chemistry lab mixing chemicals. How do you write that down on paper? Yes, you write that down on paper using chemical equations. So your chemical equation is actually a written form of a chemical reaction using chemical symbols. The reactants are usually written on the left hand side while the products are written on the right hand side. And in between the reactant and the product, we have an arrow symbol, not an equal to sign, but an arrow symbol. Please take note of that. Now, in balancing chemical equation, it follows the general rule of conservation of energy. The energy is neither created nor destroyed, but is being transformed from one form to another. Same applies here when balancing chemical equations. You must also note that when you balance a chemical equation, ensure that both the reactant and the product side are the same. In terms of number of atoms or molecules for each element. So say we have chemical reaction or a chemical equation with hydrogen having one molecule on the left hand side. Please also ensure that on the product side hydrogen is also one molecule. With that we can say we have a balanced chemical equation. Always do an atom count to check that an equation is balanced. It is very important that you take note of that. Looking at the example below, we have a chemical equation, a chemical reaction of magnesium plus two molecules of hydrochloric acid reacting to give magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. So when we take an atom count for each of the elements, magnesium has just one. Chlorine has two on both sides, and hydrogen has two. You can see that very clearly. In the next equation, we have sodium reacting with sulfuric acid to give us sodium sulfate plus hydrogen. If we take the atom count for each element, sodium is 2. You notice that on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Sulfur is 2 on both sides. Hydrogen is 2 on both sides. And oxygen is 4 on both sides. You have to find a way to balance the number of atoms on both sides. The truth is, it's going to be a trial and error system. You may not be able to get it just once and for all to balance it clean and simple. Sometimes you have to make errors, you have to cancel out numbers, you have to swap numbers and all that. But ensure that by the end of the exercise, you should have same number of atoms on both sides for each element. So here's a simple chemical equation following the example that we've done. And this is how it is done. So here you have hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide are reacting to give sodium chloride and water, that is H2O. Now, in the line below, you can see how 
the products are formed. We have hydrogen reacting with hydroxide to give us H2O. So we have 2H and O. While we have chlorine reacting with sodium to give us sodium chloride. So it's that simple. You could try it out several you could try out several other chemical equations and ensure that you do a balanced work. Chemical reactions are brief representations of chemical reactions using only formula and symbols. A balanced chemical equation gives the relationship between the amount of the reactants and products in mole and mass ratio. Also take note of that. So in other words, a chemical equation that is balanced gives a good amount of the reactants and the products in mole and mass ratio. You can try out these few assignments and ensure to send them in. And I wish you the best of luck.